All right, this is what we know. The radius of the cylinder is five, cent five centimeters, and the height is 30 centimeters. The rate of change for volume is three centimeters per second cubed. Oh my God, hell no. All right, what we need to find is the rate of change of height for water. First, our first step is going to be setting up the equation for a cylinder. The volume equals pi r squared times height. dv dt equals pi times r squared dh dt plus 2rh dr dt. Alright, now we need to isolate for the variable dh dt. So this is our original equation. Now we have to divide by pi. So we divide pi both on both sides and we get, end up with d dv dt all over pi equals r squared dh dt plus 2rh dr dt. Now we subtract 2rh dr dt from both sides. dv dt all over pi minus 2rh dr dt is equal to r squared dh dt. Now we divide by r squared on both sides. dh dt equals dv dt all over pi minus 2rh dr dt all over r squared. Now that we have solved for dh dt, we simply plug in the numbers for the representing variables, which would leave us with dh dt is equal to 3 centimeters cubed per second divided by pi minus 2 pi times 5 times 15 times 0 due to dr dt being constant throughout the whole time all over 5 centimeters squared. And since dr dt is equal to 0, that cancels out, which leaves us with dhdt is equal to 3 centimeters cubed per second all over 25 centimeters squared per second times pi which is equal to 3 over 25 pi centimeters per second which is equal to dhdt which represents the changing height of the water over time.